Hey guys, Derek here from NapLab. The Helix Dusk is a hybrid mattress with lightning fast response times and excellent pressure relief that makes it a great choice for any sleeper who rely on their stomach or back while they sleep. Is it the right choice for you? Let's find out now. We'll start by looking at the Helix Dusk at a high level, who it's best for, what it feels like, and why you might wanna buy it. The Helix Dusk is a hybrid mattress that uses an eight inch layer of pocketed coils with two layers of foam to provide support and comfort. It's primarily designed for back and stomach sleepers. The Dusk provides good pressure relief with a medium firm feel. It has a good sinkage and contour with a fast response time, but also comes with higher levels of motion transfer, which is less than ideal for those who sleep with sensitive partners. The Helix Dust received great scores in most categories during our test. It earned a perfect 10 in response time, high nines in company, off-gassing, and sex, and mid nines for pressure relief and cooling. The scores dived to an 8.9 for edge support and all the way down to a 7.7 .7 for motion transfer. This is the lowest score for motion transfer we have given to date. The Helix Dusk mattress is a medium firm mattress with a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale, where 10 is the most firm. The majority of sleepers tend to prefer a medium firm feel in the 5 to 7 range. The Helix Dusk is a great choice for sleepers who lie on their back or stomach during the night. It offers a fast response time, great pressure relief, and a medium firmness. If you're looking for a budget-friendly queen-size mattress, the Helix Dusk is usually priced at $1,000 or less. Depending on how you like to sleep and how you use the mattress, there are a few areas of concern. The Helix Dusk has a high amount of motion transfer across the mattress, making it more likely for your partner to feel your movements. It also doesn't offer the best edge support while sitting on the edge. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. The Helix Dusk offers a medium firmness feel at a 6 out of 10. This firmness, mixed with a great pressure relief, fast response time, and a good sinkage, make it an excellent choice for back and stomach sleepers. However, I would still expect that many side sleepers could enjoy the mattress. Next up, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At NapLab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to nine different factors that impact comfort, feel, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get off the mattress and take measurements of the surface level temperature. Regarding the cooling performance, our objective data showed a pretty good score for the Helix Dusk. The mattress had a maximum surface temperature of 90.7 degrees, which is among the lower temperatures of the mattresses we've tested to date. The average maximum temperature across all mattresses we've tested to date is 91.7 degrees. Compared to other Helix mattresses, it's also one of the coolest surface temperatures. Heat dissipation was pretty good, though it did take three minutes before the mattress returned to near baseline temperatures. Speaking subjectively, I found the mattress to offer good cooling overall. During our test, I did not sense any excessive heat buildup. Like all Helix mattresses, the hybrid really carries the heavy load. It's able to create better airflow, and when combined with a top layer of latex like foam, it works really well together to keep sleepers cool. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. The images show the level of contour and sinkage that can be expected. In addition, we use a 12 pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. Sinkage is within a pretty normal range for a medium firmness mattress. There's plenty of sinkage available to create a nice level of edge support, but it's certainly not excessive, nor will it lead to any stuck feeling for most sleepers. On our pressure point sinkage test, we measured a sinkage depth of 2.28 inches. According to Helix, the mattress is designed for stomach and back sleepers. However, based on the sinkage depth, I think it's a perfectly acceptable choice for many side sleepers as well. The Dusk's 2.28 inches of sinkage is just slightly higher than the average sinkage across all the mattresses we've tested to date, which is 2.20 inches. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to measure the motion generated by the drop. Motion transfer on the Dusk was high. In fact, it's the highest motion transfer we've seen of any mattresses we've tested to date. There is a high level of energy detected for 0.7 seconds, and then it begins to more rapidly dissipate. 
These higher levels are likely due to the fact that the mattress has a little more dense support, a design choice for making it better for stomach and back sleepers. This added support just creates a little more pushback on motion generated, hence transferring more motion across the surface of the mattress. While this may be bad for couples concerned about excessive motion transfer, it certainly has benefits too for sleepers who primarily sleep on their back or stomach and want the added support. During our accelerometer testing, we noticed high levels of motion transfer initially, and that motion tends to travel a good amount of time and distance before fully being absorbed into the mattress materials. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and demonstrate the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. The dusk may have some drawbacks in terms of motion transfer, but it scored very highly for response time. In our response time test, the mattress was mostly recovered by 0.3 seconds. The latex like top layer and coils work together to great effect to achieve this speedy response. The fast response time means you will never feel stuck in the materials and the ease of movement is high. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measured the maximum depth the ball sinks before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. There's a high level of bounce at 10.24 inches of total bounce range. This is similar to what we've seen from most hybrids in general, but also from the Helix family of mattresses. The hybrid design is able to deliver more bounce, which offers a more traditional feel, while also being preferable for amorous activities. The bounce range of 10.24 inches is a good bit above the average 8.24 inch bounce range that we've seen across all other matches we've tested to date. For an assessment of the edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Edge support for the Helix Dusk was a bit of a mixed bag. While sitting, we experienced a compression at 5.25 inches. That's definitely among the deepest compression we've tested as we've only seen a handful of mattresses exceed that number. While edge support for sitting is near the maximum of what we like to see, lying on the mattress was a different story. Lying edge support is simply fantastic. Honestly, I was a bit surprised at how deep the compression was while sitting, given how well I felt supported while lying on the mattress. In any case, overall I feel the Helix Dusk offers excellent edge support. While sitting directly on the edge, or if you use the edge of the mattress for the dance without pants, you may find it doesn't quite live up to the expectations. However, for sleeping, it's more than sufficient. Now it's time for sex. Overall, the Helix Dusk scored very well. Hybrids tend to score exceptionally well in this category because of their sufficient bounce, edge support, and cooling. Our sex rating formula looks at five different factors weighted based on their importance. We use the scores from our other factors plugged into the formula to derive a unique sex score for each mattress. For the Helix Dusk, these individual factors generated a sex score of 9.6. Bounce, edge support, and cooling were big factors in the successful score. The quality design also contributed to great pressure relief. Noise takes a bit of a hit because the coils used in the core of this mattress. Lastly, let's talk about edge support. While it's true, hybrids generally do have good edge support because of the coils, the dust struggled a bit with sitting on the edge. But if you're more concerned with support while lying on the edge, the dust was a real winner and I did not notice any issues. The Helix Dusk has great pressure relief. No major complaints. It provides sufficient support and where sinkage is allowed, I did not feel like it could cause painful pressure points or tension. There is a three inch layer of comfort foam and eight inches of pocketed coils that provide both transitional pressure relief and support. I felt both supported and comfortable in all sleeping positions. Off casting of the Helix Dusk mattress was pretty typical for a partial foam mattress. Because of the coils, it was less than most 100% foam mattresses. Out of the box, there was a moderate amount of smell. In a well-ventilated space and without bedding, it took around two days for the mattress to fully off-gas. Again, this is pretty typical for a hybrid mattress, and once the process was complete, I did not notice any overwhelming smells. Helix Sleep, as a company, was first launched in 2015 and is pretty well known for fair and favorable consumer policies. They have a 100-night trial period with a 30-night break-in period, both of which are not unusual terms. The break-in period is a 30-day window to allow your body to get used to the mattress. In this window, you cannot issue a refund or return for the mattress. The 30-day window is estimated time it takes for your body to get used to any new mattress. I would recommend the Dusk for sleepers who prefer a medium-firm mattress. 
This mattress has a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale that is a comfortable fit for the vast majority of sleepers. It offers great pressure relief, a quick response time, and excellent linkage and contouring while lying on the mattress. As a result, you don't have to worry about feeling stuck in the mattress due to these factors. While this mattress was designed for back and stomach sleepers, side sleepers will probably enjoy the feeling of the Helix Dusk as well. It would be a great choice for any sleepers who haven't decided on a mattress yet, as well as house guests, growing children, or couples who share a bed. Well guys, that wraps it up for this review. I hope you found it helpful. Comments, questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Helix mattress, we'll get a link in the description. If you'd like to see more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching. Now it's time for sex. <laughs> or if you use the edge of the mattress for the dance without pants, you may find it doesn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Johnny. Oh no. Yeesh. Whoa, sh <laughs> As well as house guests, growing children, or couples who share a bed. Jeremy, can I sell bed? Well, not this one, obviously. Just the queen version of this day. Right, right. Put this in the, put this in the outtakes. As always, thank you so much for watching. Double finger guns. That's how they really know it's them I'm talking to.